teaching yourself mathematics is something that is wonderful when you can do it. In this video, we're going to talk about how you can teach yourself mathematics and what is the right way to do that. Like what is the best way to teach yourself mathematics? Because there are different ways and there are different approaches and I wanna discuss them in this video. So I received a very short email. That's what inspired this video. And I'm going to read the email and then I'll do my best to, to answer it. The subject is teaching myself math. Good evening. I was wondering what recommendations for math books you would recommend before I jump back into college algebra courses at my local university. I don't know why that sounds so exciting. I have some concepts down, such as pre-calc and trig. However, I am concerned because my lack of remembering the basics like long division and multi-set multiplication. Therefore, I am starting over from arithmetic. Is this the proper way or do I need to go back into Algebra 1 with other basic arithmetic topics that I do not remember? So first, let me just say that there is no wrong way to do it and there is no right way to do it. But there is a most effective way in my opinion and I do have advice for that. So it sounds like you're going to go to college and you're going to jump into college algebra. So the most effective thing you can do, and this is probably not the answer a person wants to hear because it's probably not the answer I would want to hear, but it's the truth is to actually find the book that you would need to use in your course, buy it, get a used copy online, and start working from that book. That is by far the best way to prepare for any class. If you're taking a class in calculus, you should find out what book they're using for that class and then get that book. Don't get another book, get that book. Uh, don't go back and review old topics. No, get the book for the class and study that because that's where your test questions are gonna come from, or at least they're gonna be in that flavor. So once you're taking that college algebra class, you're gonna to have to take tests, right? And those test questions are probably gonna come from that book, or at least they'll be similar to the ones that are in the book. And the reason I say that this is not what most people want to hear is because this is a very hard approach, right? Think about that. Think about what I'm saying. I'm saying skip all that prereq knowledge that you want to review and jump in and start swimming with the sharks, right? I mean, it's 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 not it's not pleasant. I know because you know when I was in school, you know, we would have these semester breaks and everyone loves to do self-study during the semester break. And that's when you go back and you review old topics or maybe you buy that number theory book and you do a little bit of self-study in number theory because you've never learned number theory. And so it's like, I have this opportunity to do math at, you know, my own free will. And the reason that it's fun is because you get to choose. Whereas when you're in college, you know, you have a class and you have these tests you have to take and you have a book you're supposed to read and you have homework you're supposed to do. And nobody likes being told what to do. People, people do better when they study what they want to study instead of studying what they're told. So unfortunately, the best way to prepare for the college algebra class is to get the college algebra book for your class and study it. At the same time, there is, again, there's no wrong way to do it. Any math that you learn is going to be beneficial. So here's another thing you can do. You can just get a different college algebra book. So I have one here. I have one here. This is one that um, I used to teach for many, many years. This is actually an instructor's edition, okay? This is um, College Algebra Essentials by Blitzer. This is the fifth edition. You can get one that's not the instructor's edition. And the essentials... Uh, means it has less topics. So you might say, why would you get the essentials versus the regular college algebra by Blitzer? Because you can get the essentials cheaper. So this is a textbook. So keep that in mind. I, I'll leave a link in the description of this video to this book. So this is a textbook. And keep that in mind when you look at the price. Um, so it costs more than other books. Okay, so like you can find this on Amazon for price X. And then you can get other books that are cheaper. But they're not really textbooks. So this has a ton of information and this has more than you need for your college algebra class. So that's a great choice. Or you can get the book that you're going to be using for your class 
and then just start working through that. If you feel like you would have more fun going over prereq stuff, which most people do, right? Because it's easier to go over prereq stuff than it is to jump into the hard stuff. I have some other books to recommend. These are very affordable and you can find them on Amazon. I'll leave links. There's two. So this one is, they claim it's the complete middle school study guide. It's everything you need to ace math in one big fat notebook. Great book. It's got great pictures, um, percent word problems, great examples. It's got answers. It guides you through it. Smells great. So awesome book. And then a step up from that one is this one here, the complete high school study guide. It's everything you need to ace pre-algebra and algebra one in one big fat notebook. So this also is worth getting and worth worth going through. These are very inexpensive uh, compared to uh, compared to the Blitzer books. These are going to cost you a lot less money. Um, so good choices. I collect math books, so I think it's good to have all math books. I spilled water before making this video all over my shirt. <laughs> so I recommend getting all of them. So that's my advice. Um, you know, get the book for your class and go over that. It's funny you mentioned long division. Uh, I I learned long division like most people in an algebra class, and then I forgot it. And I went on Google and I typed it in, and Wikipedia had an example, and I learned it. This is a long time ago. Uh, you know, it's probably like I don't know when Wikipedia came out, but it was a long time ago. And I think they've changed the example, but I remember going to Wikipedia and having to look up long division when I was an undergrad because I forgot how to do long division. So the things you mention are things that most people forget. So you're in a very um, normal place. This is very normal. So hopefully my video has helped you. And again, get the book for your class. That I think is the best route, the best route. And if you don't know, if you don't want to get different books, College Algebra Essentials by Blitzer is a good one. Uh, definitely recommend it. It's cheaper than the regular version because it has less topics and it has everything you need for college algebra. And these two books here, these are fun and they're they're less expensive and you can get them new. And I'll leave links for both of these. They're kind of fun and they'll help you uh, refresh your skills. There's also other books, I know, <laughs> tons of books you can get. I just got these, these here to show you. Uh, another thing you can do, and, and this is gonna sound strange, uh, is you can learn stuff beyond college algebra. This is this is even better because this might motivate you to learn more math and go further. Why not jump into something like calculus, right? So here I have a book, and this is just one I have here, happen to have here. It's Calculus with Analytic Geometry by Swakowski, the alternate edition, but it doesn't matter which edition you get. But get a big, thick calculus book like this one. This is a good one. I'll, I'll link it in the description. And you could jump into this and you could actually learn some calculus with the basic math that you know. And what you're going to find is you're going to find that you're going to have issues with the algebra. You're going to get stuck. But that's okay. That's when that's when you go back and that's when you review. So my advice is push forward. And when you run into situations where you don't know the math, that's when you briefly step back, resolve that issue, and then keep pushing forward onto the new content, onto the algebra the college algebra, onto the trig, onto the calculus, and only backtrack when necessary. It's a harder approach because it's kind of like, you're, you're running into roadblocks more frequently and it's more frustrating, but you're gaining that knowledge. You're, you're, you're learning something new instead of rehashing old materials. So I think it's better for you and I think people learn better that way. So hopefully my response <laughs> makes sense and it has been helpful to someone out there in the world who happens to be watching this video. Anyways, I'll end this video here. Until next time, good luck and take care.